Hello, my name is Janet Michalak and I'm a dietitian and food lover. Today I'm going to talk about how eggs can modify your health. I will also talk about the effects of eating eggs on blood cholesterol levels and their alleged causation of cardiovascular diseases, including atherosclerosis. You'll also find out how many eggs a day you should eat for maximum health benefits. I will start with something familiar to most people, but important in terms of health. Namely, eggs are the best source of complete protein. This means that these proteins contain in their composition a set of all exogenous, meaning essential amino acids, which our body cannot produce on its own. However, this property is still not that impressive, although obviously very important. What is particularly important is that the amino acids of which egg whites are made up are present in ideal proportions. This allows our body to make maximum use of these amino acids for its own needs. This is referred to as the net protein utilization factor, but I will talk about it more in a moment. Each of the amino acids in eggs obviously has different properties and functions, so I will not talk about each one separately. But as I stressed, the greatest value of egg whites is the entire amino acid profile, perfectly balanced. And here I would like to recall two scientific studies from 2018 and 2019. Well, Scientists have conclusively proven that providing essential amino acids in high amounts can increase muscle mass and strength, as well as improve physical performance in older people, especially those who are malnourished. This is of brilliant importance for people over 50 or 60, because it is in this group of people that the level of muscle tissue decrease with age, meaning the development of sarcopenia. Without going into details, I will just say that sarcopenia is one of the causes of general weakness, slowed gait, increased number of falls and osteoporosis in older people. In addition, elderly people with reduced muscle mass and strength are more susceptible to infection and disability and unfortunately have an increased mortality rate. And a set of amino acids that can, to a certain extent, prevent these unfavorable changes that progress with age are precisely what eggs provide. Of course, it is not only older people who benefit from this measure, but in fact everyone, including for example people who are physically active. I said I would not discuss the properties of the individual amino acids found in egg whites, but I will make a small exception. There is probably not a single person in our lives who has not encountered stressful situations accompanied by feeling of anxiety. Since all of us are confronted with these problems, I would like to mention the results of a study conducted by the Japanese. These researchers have shown that consuming two amino acids in high amounts, namely lysine and arginine, can moderate the chromonal response to stress and lower cortisol levels. They have demonstrated that these two amino acids can reduce chronic anxiety and stress. The amount of amino acids used in this study is provided by 4 eggs. But of course this doesn't mean that we are forced to eat 4 eggs every day, because these amino acids are also provided by other products. Still regarding to the value of egg protein to our health, it is worth knowing that there is such a thing as the net protein utilization factor, also known as net protein utilization, which I mentioned earlier. It is a measure of the building value of protein. That is, how well our body uses the protein from a given product to build muscle, bone, components of our blood, etc. By comparison, the net protein utilization factor of an egg is 91, the highest possible, while that of peas, for example, is only 45. The second valuable component found in eggs, specifically the yolk, is choline. Choline used to be referred to as vitamin B4, but lost its vitamin status after scientists discovered that it could be formed in our bodies in trace amounts. Choline plays a number of important functions in our body. First of all, it is involved in the production of neurotransmitters, I am referring here to acetylcholine. Among other things, this neurotransmitter affects our memory and mood. And this is borne out by scientific studies which have shown that in people aged 50 to 85, the use of large amounts of choline resulted in improved short and long-term memory. 
In addition, choline has a neuroprotective effect, meaning it's protecting our nerve cells from damage. Choline is also a very important component in the diet of pregnant women. Its deficiency during pregnancy can cause premature birth, as well as abnormal development of the child, including the occurrence of neural tube defects. Choline also has a beneficial effect on our liver. It prevents excessive fat accumulation in this organ, thus choline reduces the risk of developing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, researchers have shown. The consumption of eggs is a key element in being able to provide adequate amounts of choline. In one scientific paper, researchers highlighted that it is extremely difficult to meet the daily choline requirement when eggs are missing out from the diet. Consuming just one egg a day is enough to provide half the required amount of choline, or about 200 mg. Egg yolk is also a source of the carotenoids, lutein and zaxanthin. I mention these ingredients because current knowledge shows that their consumption can benefit our eyesight. Researchers have shown that including foods rich in lutein and zaxanthin in the diet can reduce symptoms of visual fatigue. In addition, lutein can reduce the risk of developing macular degeneration and also cataracts. Furthermore, researchers have shown that consumption of lutein and zaxanthin improves vision in people suffering from diabetic neuropathy, a diabetic eye disease. Researchers noted that eating just one egg a day can increase blood levels of lutein by as much as 26% and zaxanthin by 38%. It is true that eggs are not the richest dietary source of these nutrients, but their assimilability from eggs is much higher than, for example, dietary supplements or spinach, which is considered to be one of the best sources of them. Eggs are also rich in many vitamins. These include fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin A and D, as well as B vitamins, including vitamin B2, B12, pantothenic acid and folic acid. By consuming just one egg, we cover our daily requirement for these vitamins by approximately 10 to 25%, depending on the specific ingredient. I will just briefly mention what each of these vitamins is responsible for. Vitamin A is essential for proper vision. It is vitamin A deficiency that is one of the most important causes of blindness in children. People who have low levels of vitamin A in their body may develop an inability to see in low light. Vitamin A also has a beneficial effect on the skin, including through its anti-inflammatory effects and participation in sebum production. Another vitamin is vitamin D. It facilitates calcium absorption, strengthens bones, has anti-cancer effects, boosts immunity and improves sleep quality. Although vitamin D has many more health properties, I won't dwell on it now. As I mentioned, eggs are also high in vitamin B2 or riboflavin. Very little is said about this vitamin, but I think it deserves some attention. Vitamin B2 ensures the proper functioning of the nervous system and, similarly to vitamin A, has a favorable effect on eyesight by preventing the development of cataracts. Riboflavin may also reduce feelings of fatigue and tiredness. Its absence, which although rare, can be the cause of cavities, nerve damage and impaired iron absorption. In turn, pantothenic acid or vitamin B5 helps to maintain mental performance and, like vitamin B2, prevents fatigue. For this reason, pantothenic acid is very often an ingredient in energy drinks. In eggs, we also have plenty of vitamin B12 and folic acid, which are involved in the production of red blood cells and thus prevent anemia. In addition, these two vitamins reduce homocysteine levels in the blood. This is a very important action as too high levels of homocysteine is the body can lead to atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. In addition, consumption of folic acid can protect us to some extent against Alzheimer's disease. And most importantly, folic acid is an extremely important compound for pregnant women because it is responsible for the correct development of the fetus nervous system. Eggs also provide a variety of minerals, particularly noteworthy are iron and selenium. Iron is, as you know, a compound used in the production of red blood cells, which prevents anemia. However, few people know that iron strengthens our immunity because it is involved in the formation of lymphocytes or immune cells. 
Selenium, on the other hand, is an essential ingredient for ensuring proper thyroid function. In addition, it is likely to reduce the risk of depression, increase fertility in men, and can protect against colon, stomach, liver, lung, and prostate cancers. A lack of selenium in the body increases the risk of viral infections, can lead to hypothyroidism, and is the case of pregnant women can cause miscarriages. I will just point out here that the current state of knowledge shows that in general people consume less selenium than we should, and selenium deficiency could affect up to 1 billion people worldwide. Eggs come to the rescue as one can cover one third of the daily requirement of this nutrient. In the context of eggs, I would like to make one more brief point. Namely, eggs are incredibly filling. They rank high on the so-called satiety index, a list of products for which the ability of induce a feeling of satiety and reduce subsequent calorie intake is measured. Several scientific studies have been carried out on this topic. In one experiment, researchers found out that the egg eaters had a more significant drop in levels of ghrelin, the hunger hormone, compared to those who had oatmeal for breakfast. In another study, the authors showed that the egg-based breakfast caused a greater feeling of satiety and reduced calorie intake further down the line compared to a breakfast based on bread. These data suggest that eating eggs may be helpful in maintaining a healthy body weight and perhaps useful during weight loss. Now, a few words about the effects of eating eggs on blood cholesterol levels and their alleged causation of cardiovascular diseases, including atherosclerosis. There are indeed many hypotheses on this subject and I do not want to address them at all, but I will simply state the facts. Consuming it to a small extent can affect cholesterol levels in the body. This is hardly surprising since they contain cholesterol in their composition. However, the key point is that, as scientific studies show, eating eggs does not cause lipid disorders. In other words, eggs do not permanently raise cholesterol levels in our body above what is normal for us on a daily basis. I would also add here that the body regulates its own cholesterol levels according to how much it needs, that is, according to the state of health, the amount of physical activity and many other factors. And for the most part, you shouldn't be concerned about the effects of eating eggs on cholesterol and cardiovascular disease. On the contrary, eggs have beneficial effects on heart and cardiovascular health. I have reached the latest analysis of a number of 2021 surveys with a total of almost 1.5 million participants. Based on this, the authors concluded that eating more than one egg per day was not associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Furthermore, researchers have shown that eating more than one egg a day reduced the risk of coronary heart disease by 11%. That is to say, what we have here is the exact opposite of what was talked about only a few years ago and what is actually still being talked about. Of course, eggs are not for everyone and should be avoided by those who are allergic to them. On the other hand, for people who need to be on a light digestive diet, attention should be paid to the methods of processing eggs and it is not recommended to eat hard-boiled eggs or fried scrambled eggs, for example. People on a low-protein diet, for example because of kidney disease, should limit their intake so as not to exceed the daily recommended level of protein. I will now try to answer the eternal question. How many eggs can you eat? In fact, there is no upper limit for which a particular portion of eggs is found to be harmful. But remember that eggs are full of different food compounds and excess of which may not necessarily be appreciated by our bodies. Taking into account that nutritional value of eggs, as well as the available literature, I recommend eating up to about 3 eggs a day and no more than about 20 a week. Probably nothing dangerous will happen if a healthy person eats 4 or 5 eggs a day, but I think that maybe with some exceptions it's not necessary at all. Eggs are just one healthy product among very, very many, and it's no secret that it's rather good to diversify your diet. The three eggs a day that I recommend include both moderation and meeting our body's many nutritional needs. 
It is also very often asked in what form to eat eggs. In my opinion, soft boiled eggs are the best option. Eggs subjected to this gentle heat treatment are easily digestible, have much more digestible protein, are salmonella free and do not contain active avidin, which impedes biotin absorption and retain more nutrients. The longer we boil eggs, the more variable compounds they can lose, including lutein and zaxanthin. Fried eggs, on the other hand, can oxidize cholesterol, which is harmful to our health. I hope that with this video I have managed to dispel some doubts about eating eggs and show that they are a really valuable component of our diet. If you enjoyed this episode, give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And that is all for today's video. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.